Hare Krishna devotees, welcome to Shloka Day. Today's Shloka is Shloka number 19 of chapter 13. Iti Kshetram Tatha Jnanam Iti Kshetram Tatha Jnanam Nyeyam Choktam Samasataha Nyeyam Choktam Samasataha Madbhakta Etat Vijnaya Madbhakta Yetat Vijnaya Madbhavayo Papadhyate Madbhavayo Papadhyate Word for word meaning translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Shira A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, Shira Prabhupada Ki Jai. Yeah. Iti. Iti. Das. Das. Kshetram. Kshetram. The field of activities, the body. The field of activities, the body. Tatha. Tatha. Also. Also. Jnanam. Jnanam. Knowledge. Knowledge. Nyeyam. Nyeyam. The noble. The noble. Cha. Cha. Also. Also. Uktam. Uktam. Described. Described. Samasataha. Samasataha. In summary. In summary. Mat bhaktaha. Mat bhaktaha. My devotee. My devotee. Etat. Etat. All this. All this. Vignaya. Vignaya. After understanding. After understanding. Mat bhavaya. Mat bhavaya. To my nature. To my nature. Upapadhyate. Upapadhyate. Attains. Attains. Translation. Thus the field of activities. Thus the field of activities. The body. The body. Knowledge and the knowable. Knowledge and the knowable. Have been summarily described by me. Have been summarily described by. Me. Only me. my devotees. Only my devotees. Can understand this thoroughly. Can understand this thoroughly. And thus attain to my nature. And thus attain to my nature. So Prabhupada writes in the purport. The Lord has described in summary the body, knowledge and the knowable. This knowledge is of three things. The knower, the knowable and the process of knowing, which means who is the knower? The knower is the self. Of course, the knower is also the super self. Who is the knowable? The knowable is the super self, which is the object of our knowledge, the object of our affection, which is the super soul. And the process of knowing and understanding both the self and the super self is called knowledge. Combined, these are called vijnana or the science of knowledge. That means the science of knowledge is uh, about the self, the super self, and the process of understanding oneself and the super self. Perfect knowledge can be understood by the unalloyed devotees of the Lord directly. Others are unable to understand. The monas say that at the ultimate stage, these three items become one, but the devotees do not accept this. Monas meaning the Mayavadis have a different philosophy altogether, that everything actually merges into one single Brahman. But that is not the philosophy of the uh, Dvaita um, school of thought, that nothing merges, we retain our individuality. Um, <clears throat> knowledge and development of knowledge mean understanding oneself in Krishna consciousness. We are being led by material consciousness, but as soon as we transfer all consciousness to Krishna's activities and realize that Krishna is everything, then we attain real knowledge. In other words, knowledge is nothing but the preliminary stage of understanding devotional service perfectly. In the 15th chapter, this will be very clearly explained. Now, to summarize, one may understand that verses six and seven beginning from Mahabhutani and continuing through Chetana Dhritihi 
analyze the material elements and certain manifestations of the symptoms of life. These combine to form the body or the field of activities. And verses 8 through 12 from Amanitvam through Tattva Jnanartha Darshanam describe the process of knowledge for understanding both types of knower of the field of activities, namely the soul and the super soul. Then verses 13 through 18, beginning from Anadi Matparam and continuing through Kriti Sarvasya Vishthitam, describe the soul and the super supreme lord or the super soul. Thus, three items have been described. The field of activity, the body, the process of understanding, and both the soul and the super soul. It is especially described here that only the unalloyed devotees of the Lord can understand these three items clearly. So for these devotees, Bhagavad Gita is fully useful. It is they who can attain the supreme goal, the nature of the supreme Lord, Krishna. In other words, only devotees and not others can understand Bhagavad Gita and derive the desired result. Actually, even though this particular chapter 13 <clears throat> is highly technical in nature. Nevertheless, bhakti is incorporated into it as well. So bhakti has, this is from his grace Chaitanya Charan Prabhu. Bhakti has come twice in this chapter. First, it came in the jnana section itself in shlokas 8 to 12. Mai chananya yogena bhaktir avyabhicharini. And second, it comes here in 13.19. Mat bhakta etad vikmyaya. Who can understand this? My bhakta can understand this. So others cannot understand this. Which means even if one is practicing jnana, one has to include sadhana in it. And if one focuses on cultivating bhakti itself, then jnana will automatically come. By steady, consistent practice, it will come. So Bhagavad Gita is primarily about karma yoga, bhakti yoga and jnana yoga. So if you practice bhakti yoga, automatically jnana yoga will be one of the byproducts. One need not worry about um, pursuing the path of jnana yoga independently of bhakti yoga. So we've actually concluded one small subsection of the 13th chapter. So just as a recollection, in shloka 1, Arjuna has asked six questions, which is, what is kshetra, what is kshetragya? What is jnana? What is nyaya? What is prakriti? And who is purusha? So we've completed the answers to what is kshetra and what is kshetra jnana. We've completed the section on jnana, if you remember, the 20 items of knowledge. Then from shlokas 13 to 19 today, we've completed the nyaya section, which was the answer to the sixth question that Arjuna asked which means tomorrow we will get into the next two topics, which are the next two questions, Prakriti and Purusha, which is actually the first two questions that Arjuna asks, but the Lord does not answer them in sequence of the questions that Arjuna asked. So tomorrow, join us for Shloka number 20, all the way through 26 over a period of next few days, where we will look at um, what is Prakriti and who is Purusha. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you'd like to join our classes every day, please check the details in the description section of this video. We look forward to serving you.